hit shot. What is going on guys? Afrodan here with another Minecraft Let's Play episode. What I'm going to be doing today is giving you a recap of all the stuff that I've done over the past while. It's been a couple of days since I did the episode where I finished the XP farm and uh, I've done quite a bit uh, between then and now and uh, I th at the time I didn't think it was enough to record but now that I look back over what I've done I really should have recorded it. So um, I'll give you a little recap of what I've done and I'll show you some stuff and then I think I'll finish designing the bedroom which I've actually made since uh, you may have noticed there are no uh, beds here anymore. So first of all let's do the closest thing and that is the um, enchantment room. So the enchantment table was here, it's now in here with books and lapis. As you can see I am using a um, texture pack, I forget the name of it, it's M something, M something's realistic, I don't remember. But <clears throat> yeah, so I got my uh, enchantment table there, delicious enchantments for all the family. I have my little uh, anvil here, which totally glitches out when you run into it. But um yeah that's that's helped me out with my uh diamond pickaxe. I also started naming my shit, so this is my EU pick, which is my efficiency unbreaking pick, so that I know what it is. And if you didn't know, naming an item on your uh anvil causes it to cost less when you repair it. So if I were to do that, that's how much it costs to re to rename an anvil. To rename a pick but um, it costs less if you uh, name it already, if you know what I mean. That was kind of confusing. Never mind, let's move on. Uh, I think I'll actually put wood here and move this over one, but this is going to contain such things as things that I have enchanted that haven't turned out like what I wanted them to. I don't really know what those do. And uh, <coughs> I've got my little brewing stand here. And uh, as you know, brewing stands need to, they need um, blaze, you have to kill blazes to get the uh, blaze rods to make the brewing stand. I've not got anything really going on at the minute because I don't really know about it yet, but I will be googling that. Um, these will contain water bottles and my brewing thingamajoggers and my little infinite water source here so I can fill up my balls without needing to move. <coughs> That's this room. Now the next room is a sort of where's Wally bedroom. This is not my design. This is the design of um, Mr. Andrew here who's not called Andrew here. Mr. Top of the Party Man who's uh, he's he joined yesterday and has already like helped me out so much so thank you very much to him, <coughs> and uh, he probably will be featuring in some commentaries later on uh, as time goes on. And also I do apologise for my coughing and stuff because I have just finished the cold and I've still got the cough so if you hear this noise, that is the sound of my microphone muting. and that's what's happening. I'm having a little cough, so I do apologize uh, in future for that. <coughs> Hopefully by next video I should be okay. I'm going to go to bed now. Yes, as you can see, he did a lot of uh, killing himself. He's a, he's pretty special lad. He's a special lad. <laughs> uh, so hopefully he's actually going to go to sleep and I'm not just wasting my time here. Come on, dude. I guess not. Come on, sleepy time. So he went with the red and white wool patchworky effect here. God damn it. He went with a, a little red and white uh, patch wool patchworky effect here, which is pretty nice. It's <coughs> this room is going to be the um, visitors or the quick bedroom. It's not specifically for anyone, nor is it 
like um like anyone's room in specific. It's just a room that's close to the front door and near the sort of central hub that everyone can see. Oops. God damn it. Keep pressing the wrong button. Yes, so this room is for sleeping in and everybody to sleep in, as I have already mentioned like ten times. Uh, <coughs> I will be putting a roof on in this video after I finish recapping, because yes, there is more. <coughs> Excuse me. This is probably a mistake to do at night, but I think we're going to just go for it. So, the next, ow, the next thing I'm going to show you is this monstrosity over here. Which, oh god, it's guarded by creepers apparently, and it's probably going to be my death. You can just make it press the button. No. Alright. So this is the mob spawner now. I did, I changed the design of it a little bit. Um, well, the entrance anyway, before it was just a little hole in the ground. Now it's a delicious functioning um, spawner of xp -itude. Basically, you stand here. Remember, all the redstone is behind this wall. You stand here, and a zombie, zombambinos will be produced. And then you press the button here, which crushes them. And you don't use a sword; you use nothing. And then, oh god, that's an interesting admittance there. Oh, apparently not. <laughs> so you drop the zombies are then down to one hit which you then just sit and mash the button and kill them all this is what I've got from zombies yeah they're pretty uh, that's a pretty lucrative business this killing zombies I've also put a lot of upgrades into like enchants and stuff so I'm doing quite well on that my next uh, project I guess is <coughs> I've located a skeleton spawner so I need to build a XP trap for them and uh, I've got spiders to XP trap or I think I might just do a normal trap for spiders since uh, they they don't like to go into XP traps very well. Okay, I'm just going to bail back into the house before I get exploded. I think we survived there. One second. Excuse me. Right, so that's pretty much all the new stuff, if I remember correctly. Ah yes, I'll show you the blazes and the nether where I went exploring. This was the first thing I did. I went exploring yesterday with uh, Andy who's in this game. And this is where, this is what we found. And I, f I was going to record, but because it was like his first time in this world and all that stuff, I was like... Nah, I better, I'll just leave it just now. It's not like we're going to do much. And then I ended up doing quite a lot, actually. So I do apologize, because you missed some random lulzies. And I, I, I do apologize. I owe you some random lulzies. But here is the, the little room I made after my horrendous incident with the ghasts. It's totally stylish, I know. It will be sorted so that it actually is a decent building. But for now, that will just have to do. I'm gonna douse some of these fires while I'm here. Do 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 do. Boop boo. I have to uh, say I I really appreciate the support I've gotten doing this. Doing uh, Minecraft videos and like YouTube in general is like the best thing I could ever imagine doing. It incorporates two things that I I love doing, and that's gaming and talking a whole load of shit. So, uh, it's like the best freaking thing for me ever. And uh, it's a good hobby to have because it improves my language skills. And uh, also, people seem to uh, enjoy it. So, it's alright. It raises your confidence as well a wee bit because obviously you're. Although you are talking to yourself, the, the knowledge that people are listening is very um, daunting. And uh, it puts you off quite a lot, or it put me off quite a lot, but I've got used to it now, mostly. And uh, it's it's pretty fun, you know. It's really fun just being able to, like, 
no one can tell me not to play my ex my PC anymore because I go like, don't play PC, and I'm all like, no, fuck you. I actually I'm doing something that's not just talking or not just playing. What are you doing here? Get the fuck out of here. Oh god. I guess I won't be showing you the blaze spawners just now. And I'm probably gonna get my butthole destroyed. So we'll bail. But anyway, there's nether fortress round there, which uh, we explored yesterday. And we found two blaze spawners like right next to each other. So it looks like I'm gonna have a really, really productive blaze XP farm. Which, um, that's pretty awesome. <clears throat> Can't beat some uh, tasty blaze XP, which also gets you blaze rods, which gets you magma cream and all that good stuff. Uh, excuse me there, sorry, I, I know that can't sound very nice at all. I think you're going to give me one more second. <coughs> excuse me, my goodness, having the cold is so bad. It's gone from a cold down to this fucking chesty cough. Like, every five minutes, it just feels like my throat's got daggers in it, and I just ran into fire. And uh, I just have to go cough my lungs up, and... Uh, that's that's no good, man. That's no good. Oh, there we go. And then my little uh, house is a bit safer. We'll hop back through into the overworld. Oh, will we? There we go. A little bit of hassle there, but now we are back. And yes, the final update is I have actually planted. These are all carrots. This is the... Uh, fun oh, they're not ready. Oopsie. Shh. This is the uh, light switch farm. Half of it's carrots. I have potatoes, which uh, I have just now decided I'm going to go plant up in the top farm if it is day, which it's still not day. How long is this night going to last? Well, anyway, it's still not day, so I won't be doing that just now, but um, I'll be planting some potatoes in the farm that the carrots were in. Oh, that's cool. That kind of looks like you're being sucked up to space by some sort of alien thing. Yes, so potato farm. Potatoes will be placed where the carrots were, and we will have some delicious potatoes to be nommed on and to be put down into the farming area down there. So that's pretty awesome. So I, I pretty much don't need to worry about food at all at the minute. Um, another plan that I have pretty much set, I know um, what I'm going to do is uh, a cow farm. I have it pretty much... I have the design for it ready and I have the I have most of the materials to actually make a decent start. I just don't know how to arrange its pods with uh, cows on rails and I just cannot figure out how to arrange the pods so that they're in the most uh, efficient configuration shall we say so that um, most of the ooh hello XP and stuff nom 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 so that most of the zombies actually... Wait a minute, what was I even talking about there? Yeah, so most of... they were. I was putting something in an efficient way. Oh yeah, so the cows! Oh my god, dude, I have memory problems. Anyway, arrange so the cows are in an efficient way so that it saves up space. And I think I'll be building it into the wall here so there'll be some sort of large uh, pipe thing going leading dead cow parts into the house so I don't need to leave the house ever and uh, yes another update which I forgot to mention earlier on is this awesome fucking awesome house that Andy has delightfully and enthusiastically constructed this is his dwelling I've had no part in the building of this other than maybe giving him some materials so this is all his building and I have to say I'm gutted because it looks so much better than my like sorry excuse for a house so uh, yeah I'm a bit gutted here just look at how awesome this uh, this building is it's like a big a, like, a big tree house with like a little inner ring down here I don't know what this is for maybe shooting zombies for something and uh, this huge like this really just awesomely well crafted room with tons of uh, veins and stuff on it just really looks awesome 
I have to say sorry about that. That I'm really jealous and proud of him because he's done an extre he's made an extremely beautiful house here. So I'll need to. Oh god, that's creepy. Oh hello. What he's doing uh, is building a, a rope esque looking bridge over to that tree, which he's going to build into another one. There's going to be a little uh, monkey treehouse area. <coughs> Excuse me, a monkey treehouse area. And also, he has this little diving board which you jump. Wee! Sploosh! Beautiful. It's a little fishing post up there. Look how awesome that looks. This is like one of the best like tree houses I've ever seen built. It's really good. So, uh, yeah. Compare that beautiful um, and magnificent building and then remember it and let's go look at my building. My building looks like a pair of saggy tits. Oh god. He's got pro skills. Pro skills. He may be able to build a building, but he can't stay on it for more than five minutes without killing himself. Yep, look at that. Look, well, I don't even know why. It's kind of like that. But, eh, uh, it's not loaded in properly. But that kind of looks like a pair of tits. Come on, load in properly. It's just the front walls of those circles that have loaded. Oh! Oh god. I don't even know what's happening now. Maybe I was too far away. Oh god. This is not good. Well. Th th there's. Yeah, there we go. Now it looks like a pair. It looks like you're looking through binoculars. Oh yes, and this little. Uh, <coughs> Um, stone thing is what Kyle made. Exasketch, who was on last time. Uh, he made. He was on last night too. He made this uh, delightful um, cobblestone thing. <laughs> it's a little house, and it uh, it looks dodgy, and he used up all my cobblestone, but it's okay. I forgive him because he's 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 a special child. Is that a cave down there? How do you go down faster? Oh, ooh, cool. Whoa, whoa. Hello. Apparently, this is like the most elaborate cave system ever down here. I have torches. I've been in this cave system. This is so cool. Ah, boo. Yeah, I ain't going down there. Okay, back to the surface before I get killed. Quickly now. I may not actually make it up without taking damage. Oh god. This was a mistake. This was a mistake. Get out of here. Swim. Swim, Steve. Swim. We're going to make it. Yeah. You know one thing I noticed with a skin pack? Take a look at this. Look! Steve has a face! He has a face! Oh yeah. I need to get, I need to make my own, I need to try and make myself as a, a character, that would be awesome. If I ever decide to do that, I will definitely post a video of it, because it will look horrendous and hopefully funny. One second again, apparently I have to cough my lungs up. Sorry. So, I said I would finish the roof, so I should probably try and do that. I never even planned out what it was going to be like or anything. So, hopefully, I think if you put sandstone, you get, mm, no, I'm sure you can get like sand brick or something like that, but I don't know how to make it. Smooth sandstone, what does that look like? Ooh. Okay, I guess we'll make it a smooth sandstone, because that actually looks quite nice. Where's the pickaxe? And what is this going to break into? This breaks into ah more smooth sandstone. Awesome. Okay. Do, do, do. All right. So we're gonna have a nice little smooth sandstone roof here, which I will build one, one, two, three, four. So it's here. <coughs> Excuse me. And now we can st actually. You know what? I've not even done. I haven't even set aside any area to make a staircase. So, uh, I 
I better actually go do that before I forget. I'll not do it right now, and it looks like I'm gonna be able to save some uh, lapis here as well. Do 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 do. Boom boom boom. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, this is a great start. <laughs> Okay, I see what I did wrong. I'm actually not even going to have enough smooth sandstone to do this. One, two, three, four. Yep, that's that's the right. I'm just retarded and can't count properly. Do, do, do. Um, hopefully if I have time we can go down into the mine and we'll have a look and... I'll show you the where I've got most of my um, materials from because uh, these natural mine shafts are ten times better for getting um, materials like iron and stuff than actually strip mining. I have noticed strip mining seems to be like more diamond and coal and redstone, but. Uh, <coughs> These caves just do wonders for the iron and gold supplies. So I'll take you down into the cave. This is also where the Skeletor farm is. Oop. Alright, nearly done. Yeah. And nearly done with my sandstone supplies as well. Ah, oh, really? This room actually doesn't look too bad. Hopefully we can find some sandstone in here. Yep, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. <coughs> that will do it. And we will finish off the roof here and here. I should also put torches in this chest so that I have torches to block off these bookshelves because if you don't know, if I were to um, say put this bow in here 26, 7 and 6 are like the two the three levels and they do vary a bit but you don't really like I couldn't get like a maybe like a 23 it'd be very unlikely that I'd get a 23 so what you do is you put torches on the bookshelves which block the bookshelves and stop these uh, galactic alphabet symbols going into it and that means that the enchantment is lower, which is a good way to get um, lower level enchant enchantments if you don't have enough XP. So uh, there's your pro tip of the day. I hope you enjoyed that and found it useful. I'm just going to grab some torches and fill that uh, little roof bit up. Boop, boop, boop. Nope. nope. I really need to sort out these. Uh, really? I have no torches. Nope. There we go. I really need to sort out my chest so that they're actually in order and not just mishmash. It's one of the things that I've been dreading doing it because I really just can't be arsed. It takes so long and then every time you use the chest you've got to make sure everything is in the right place and it's all correct. But I can't have it like if that is a, a wood chest I cannot put anything other than something wood into it or else I just go, it just drives me crazy. <laughs> but that's just me and I'm a weirdo. One second again. Goodness me. Uh, I may actually die, so if there's not a video, if there's not one or two videos up next week, it's probably because I choked and died. So, you know, that's, that's nice. So we'll go down into the main now since it's getting night time. And uh, there's nothing better to do, I guess. Down we go. So I have a strip mine and an entrance to a very large uh, natural cave system. So this is the entrance to a large cave system. It's made on a uh, half slab so that nothing can spawn in this room itself. And a little uh, door here so I can make sure there's no uh, monsters around. And I've got a little infinite water source in here just in case I want. I need buckets of water for anything. I have access to that and some uh, 
minerals cooking and my fortune pickaxe yes I finally enchanted a fortune pickaxe I was so pleased with it and uh, I've used it to good effect I think you may have seen that I had 21 diamond I think that was from about two um, two f findings of diamond I guess um, which turned out to be very lucrative for me so the Skeletor farm is down this way I haven't built it yet, but I've cleared out the area and I've put plans in motion. Oops, not that way. Plans in motion for uh, the skeleton farm. I'm not going to record how to make it because it's the exact same as the uh, zombie farm, but I might um, record the last moments of it because it will be built the exact same way and I don't think you want to watch the same thing over. So, uh, yeah, that's... That's what uh, my next video is probably going to include something to do with that. But yep, here we go. Skeletons. I'll be placing buckets of water across here, which they will then flow down. There'll be a bucket there and one there. We'll flow into this here, which is uh, blocked off by dirt at the minute, but it goes all the way up to the little room above, which. Hello. Which will have a. Uh, which will have my um, standing plate and killing suffocating device in it and then there will be bone meal for everyone and uh, I also have roughed out my spider design so I have a definite plans in motion and uh, blueprints for that on my uh, creative world so it won't be an XP farm it'll just be a straight up killing farm that, uh, just collects like you just collect the items out of it and that's because to make spiders don't go into each other like zombies and skeletons and creepers I think do as well where they like they can have like three in the one block like that's how the zombie spawn killer works but because you can't do that the spiders bounce off each other so if I wanted 10 spiders I would need to make a 20 long block a 20 block long tunnel because spiders take up two blocks in uh, either direction and this is my branch main these all these all go off 50 blocks in that direction I haven't finished that side of it yet but as you can see lots of uh, some of these so I gave up on some of them because they too much lava I've seriously lost about 15 pickaxes and uh, just by doing this so uh, I will, and most of them have been diamond so I have that's why my fortune pick is in that chest so that I can't I accidentally lose it and when I find diamond I just run up with the fortune pick mine it put it back so that I can not definitely won't lose it and then continue on that's how paranoid I am and how bad I am as uh, trying to mine and shit so I, I do apologize for the lack of um, things happening in this video but I wanted to make sure you guys were up to date because I know I sinned and I did a lot of stuff without um, posting the videos of it and uh, that's because I wasn't recording because I never I find it quite difficult to decide when to record because sometimes like times like this where uh, I didn't really plan on doing anything and then suddenly uh, I ended up changing that room completely so I just saw a creeper there. I ended up changing this room completely and then uh, Andy joined and I ended up uh, building a whole, I got him to design and build that whole room. <coughs> I wasn't prepared for it but uh, I promise next time m pre most of the interesting stuff I will keep and make sure that you see. But uh, thanks for watching and oh he's gone. Ha! Let's go destroy his house while uh, He's not here. Actually, I wouldn't do that because the server is, it saves automatically. That's bad. <laughs> Naughty. No griefing. No. So, I will just let you look at my Steve face again for a minute. Look at him. He's so handsome. He's so handsome. I'm going to try to look at his balls there. That was a mistake. Come closer, Steve. Come closer. Hey, buddy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Check out his ears, that's hilarious. Oh my goodness, that is fun. Okay, so from Steve with a face now, 
and me, uh, good, thanks for watching, and goodbye.